do a few little close-up shots of the coolant bottle and the charcoal canister. The muffler and the tailpipe. Here's a shot of the tailpipe. It sits right in the center. Here's the heat shield for the muffler. You'll notice that it sits pretty close to the timing cover. So on this side, we have some thermal insulation. And then on the underside, along the entire surface, we have the same thermal insulation. Here's another shot of the heat shield. Let's do a zero to 60 run and see how we do here. Ah, <laughs> uh, no tripod. Take two. Quick tour of the 1973 VW bus transporter with the uh, 2001 2.5 engine from a uh, 2.5 RS. It also has the Subaru 5 speed transmission. So, a couple things we'll take a look at here. On the dash, we have a temporary water temperature gauge. Hoping to do something with the A pillar for water temp and a few other items. Got a cable shift mechanism here. The original shifter location is blocked off. Real short throw shifter. We'll walk around to the engine side of things. There's the Subaru 2.5 single overhead cam engine. Engine bay radiators. We've got the Dynamax exhaust. Sounds very good. We have the intake mounted kind of in the well here near the gas tank filler. The ECU is mounted in the spare tire well. Now let's take a look at the transmission. There we have the Subaru Gears Kit mounting the transmission. Uh, from this angle, you can see the KEP exhaust manifold. Pretty standard setup as far as that goes, but the uh, Subaru Trans is a real dream to drive. A couple things back up front here. Right there with the cover plate, we have a uh, Subaru 2.5 RS clutch master cylinder with the bracketry there and we also underneath the skid plate we have a small heater to provide uh, defrost etc. Overall super clean bus has an Audi interior and I call it the Street Fighter because it's just it's super quick and just such a dream to drive just so smooth on the road so thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next project